<clears throat> hey everyone. Um, over the last couple months have been super crazy, and we've been doing a terrible job of making YouTube videos. So that's something uh, I want to try to do more of in the future. And this week, while I was testing the software, uh, I made this stand for my buddy's mini goats. They love being the tallest thing around. And so this is just a box for them to stand on and to compete for who can stand on it. Um, another thing I was really trying to do here was test this T-nut fastener system. Uh, these things are called weld nuts, and I'll put a link to where I got them below the video. Their intended use is that you weld them to something when you want to have a threaded hole in it. I'm using them a little bit differently here. Um, I'd seen people do this on the internet, and I wanted to give it a try myself. Um, yeah, so here's a quick video of this cutting out. And there's a couple things that I like about this fastening system. Um, it goes really well with tabs. Uh, it sort of pairs well with tabs. Um, it's reversible, so you can you know take this back apart. And also because the uh, the holes are drilled and countersunk in the same process as cutting the parts out, uh, basically it puts all of the intelligence in the design step. And then when you go to put it together, you really just need one tool, which is an Allen wrench. And um, you don't have to make a lot of you know, decisions like, at that point. It's not like screws where you're placing them as you're building it. And one of the big issues we had when we were making the CNC tiny house was um, basically we had like a full sheet of plywood that was a little bit warped. It could be really hard to pull it into place to screw it in. Uh, whereas this system, basically, if you get something close, you can then tighten it the rest of the way in. Uh, we ended up having to use a lot of clamps, and I think this would have gotten rid of the need for clamps. Basically, these, these work like the clamps. Uh, so I think these are something I'm really excited about. We'll see how they hold up with a bunch of goats jumping on them. It's probably a pretty good stress test. Um, but I'd like to keep using these on projects in the future. Um, to all those of you guys putting your machines together right now, uh, keep up the great work, and I'll see all of you in the forums.